right, guys, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel and say hello to Ren and Stimpy, Powder Toastman, Log, and TV. And let's get started. So, we have a TRM knife, uh, the TRM Atom in front of us, and this is not a review. So, if you're looking for every little spec, which I will give some, uh, if you're looking for every spec, uh, you might want to go back and look at my original. Uh, TRM Adam review, which I'll, I can put the link up here, but, um, uh, you know, I'm just not going to give every spec here. I just wanted to show, this is the one, uh, that I purchased at Blade Show comes in this really cool box. Uh, you have the warranty card, um, and you have, uh, look at that. I didn't even realize it was a separate, uh, neat. Thank you for the purchase. Visit our website. And use this code. Well, look at that. I got a free shipping thing in there, and I didn't even realize it. I need to keep that out. Uh, very, very cool, because uh, I am going to buy something else from them at some point, because uh, I love it. Uh, the TRM Tycoon uh, logo sticker and the nice cutout foam here, guys. Just really, really cool. I'm going to keep that in there just because I will lose it otherwise, but that is cool. Um nice and so uh on in the box it tells you, you have the atom liner lock in the tidal wave g carta so that's what i kind of wanted to focus on so let's just get some of the specs out of the way we'll talk a little bit the overall length of this guy is eight uh and three sixteenths of an inch closed is a uh, four and eleven sixteenths inches um and it's only uh 0.39 uh, blade thickness, which is just crazy. Uh, the weight is only three ounces and, uh, CPM 20 CV on the blade, full flat grind. Well, high flat grind, I guess you'd say, uh, you got a finger choil slash, uh, sharpening choil there with that flat area there just to get up here. So what I really wanted to focus on is the scale. So these are what they call G Carta or, uh, my Carta. And uh, this is the tidal wave. Now, guys, just the patterning of this is the reason I fell in love and bought this one. There were other options like the tech wood and in green and carbon fiber. And there was a um, red linen car um, uh, micarta there. Um, but this was just incredibly cool. It's unique. Now, I will say this one was $250. Now, you can start as low as $189 on their website for an Atom if and when they're in stock. So that's the reason I decided to get one as well. By the way, nested liners, not skeletonized, but not needed because of the thinness of everything. Just, you know, three ounces is perfect. Got a great liner lock here. The lockup is great. The centering is amazing. Uh, the action is wonderful. Uh just love the size of this guy. Uh, Kevin, Lefty EDC, and I had a little uh, contest going back and forth. He loves his Neutron uh, because he says his handle is just too big. It is, you know, when you're choked up, it comes fast. But when you're in a normal grip, it, it is great for me. The pocket clip, look at that. Deep carry goodness, guys. Really, really cool. Nice and low profile on the screws. Not quite all the way flat, but really good. Good clearance on the clip. Uh, it's a very good clip, and guys, you know the Atom. It just carries extremely thin in the pocket. Uh, slides in and out real great. The action, I mean, just wonderful. And this thing is a serious cutter with that 20 CV and that edge. Uh, by the way, I learned at Blade Show that their edges are done by Demco, uh, which is really stinking cool. Um, so I thought that was really cool. So. Just check out that G Carta, guys. You can see the individual strands of the fabric, uh, the the weave there, and that is just beautiful to me, and I just really dig it. So again, I, I said this wasn't going to be an in-depth review, just kind of a, an overview. Um, just so well done. No issues whatsoever with mine so far, and I've carried it quite a bit uh, since I came back from Blade, Blade Show. I love those barrel spacers. The design of that just looks so nice. Um, you do have uh, the co the collar here that's good. No jimping up here, but you don't need it. Uh, just a great little EDC and a great work knife, in my opinion. 
Uh, really dig this guy. Again, it was 250 in this configuration uh, with the um, uh, with the Jakarta in the tidal wave. And they also have the Mexican blanket one that I've seen. I'm not sure if that's a TRM one or an aftermarket, but anyway, look for that. Um, what I wanted to say, guys, is I think they're going to have another round of these coming. I know they're working on having a full drop instead of the drips that they've had of uh, shadows. And I know they've been having quite a few more neutrons lately. So for those of you that have been frustrated in the past because you can't get one, I think there's more coming. Uh, they're really trying to do that. And uh, at some point, I really want to get a shadow. I got to handle one at NAB, at, NAB, uh, at uh, uh, Blade Show. NAB is another trade show I go from to from time to time. Don't worry about it. But um, this guy is awesome. And when I saw it, I knew I had to get it. Marianne was so awesome, so good to meet, and uh, really, really cool knife. So, uh, guys, thanks for checking it out. Let me know what you think. Uh, I know some people have not liked the scales because of the color. Hey, I like it. Uh, and uh, But let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up as well. Um, and, guys, thanks so much for all your support. If you're subscribed, I appreciate it. If you're not, please consider it. Lots of new content coming your way very soon. And thank you so much for watching the Knives Fast channel.